I went ahead and watched Afro Senju's breakdown of the gameplay to see what he thought, and honestly, I think I might agree with some of the things he was saying. In one particular instance, during this video, Afro Senju said that he said this gameplay was S tier, and then if you compared it to other anime games, he would put it in the higher bracket of S tier. So far, what I can say though, without a doubt, this gameplay is solid enough, bro. Like, if you compare this on an anime game standard, this is like S tier. Any other game standard, that's a conversation. Ever since you even said the thing that I swear I said about Spark and Zero, where, bro, three things I need good online, spectator mode, tournament mode, endless mode. Right? Spark and Zero doesn't even have endless mode. I just need game modes now. If you can please give me an endless spectator, some type of tournament mode, a ranking system where you can view and save your replays. Is this too much to ask? And then anything on top of that, you got yourself a community. He does state that the bar for anime games is so low, as crazy as it sounds that this is just above that bar but it's so low now he says that this game trumps the last two years of anime games but the bar for anime games is so deep in hell right now that i like bro like just this alone just looking at this alone this 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 trumps the last two years we've gotten i think bro I'll, well, that's easy that's very easy i would even go ahead and say this trump the last five to eight years of anime games with a few exceptions anime games have been freaking bad since 2018 low key i think demon slayer might be up there demon slayer was a good one but jjk it was a one punch man game we don't even need to talk about bro Yo, what else bro there was a there were, bro oh, uh, i love connections but bro that the storm i'm tired are y'all gotta be tired too after fighters came out we've had some pretty bad anime games and this is just in comparison we're talking about black clover the my hero ones justice series shinobi striker jump force one punch man a hero nobody knows one piece pirate warriors 4 not one piece was fire one's justice 2 kakarot another good one but to me it's only a game that you could play one time so in a way i don't consider that great ultra rumble dragon ball of the breakers Hinokami Chronicles, Kill a Kill If, but that didn't take off. I forgot about JJK Curse Clash, yeah. And then there was also Connections, but Connections came out in a state that was freaking bad. There was even a fairy tale game that came out in 2020, and it's getting a sequel, but it again had the same issue as Kakarot. Very easy. Afro even asked the question, are you guys tired of Storm? He's tired. Afro even admits that this game is better than what he thought. It makes him happy because he thought this game was going to be questionable. He said it sounded very niche and different. And different isn't always a good thing. Hey, this, is be this is better than I thought this was going to be. And that makes me so happy. I thought this was going to be kind of like questionable. I really did, honestly. Like it was sounding very niche and, and different. And that's not always a good thing. He has faith in the foundation of this game. He adds that as long as he has good game modes, this will be a fire game. He says you add all the things that he lists, you'll have yourself a community. You don't even have to do shit. They'll be able to self-sustain themselves. You'll have a freaking community that will enjoy the game. This foundation could be built off of that alone, he says. Bondi, listen, 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 listen. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. We need the three things i mentioned and some creativity in between and i promise you the community that will be built upon just that alone you you bro it's gonna make itself it's good you have to sit back you just gotta sit back we're gonna have our own fun we can we, you can give us an update sure but we wouldn't even need you niggas at that point bro just please i beg i beg bro i beg now you might be wondering makai why are you going over what afro said are you trying to poke fun and say hey bleach isn't as bad as what you guys think actually i'm doing the exact opposite i'm trying to show you guys that a big creator with influence is talking about the game and he's not using the dumbass points that other people do in their videos bleach spark and zero is better this man had nothing to say oh spark and zero is going to sell better anybody who's been a person in the community for a long time for anime games they want these games to do great it's when we see things that don't look great is what worries us and that's why we believe these things are trash if we're being frank, there's no tribalism when it comes to these anime games. Yeah, I like Bleach. Yeah, I like Dragon Ball. When it comes to a YouTube channel, 
I'm gonna capitalize on the shit that makes sense for me. While I would love Bleach Rebirth of Souls to do great because it would definitely help my channel, I also want this game to be great because it hopefully will help Bandai be able to analyze what the anime gamers ultimately want. Anime games, believe it or not, are still not taken serious as games from the outside world. We're like in our own part of the gaming space. There was even a time back in the early mid 2000s that G4 TV had this one dude named Adam Sessler who used to poke fun at anime games in all the reviews that he did. To put it straight, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb had this hate boner when it came for anime games. Oftentimes in the reviews, they would poke fun at anime fans. Yeah. Nothing makes time drag like a Dragon Ball Z game. And they would say some pretty cringe and evil like stuff towards the fans. If you thought anime games were bad now, anime games were terrible back then. We still live in this point where anime games are still hopefully getting slowly, slowly, but better. But each time we think the anime games are going to get better, it's like Bandai goes a little backwards before going forward. Case in point with the Budokai Tenkaichi series, we thought they had a good idea going on, and then after that, we get the Rage and Blast series, and then they do the Ultimate in Tenkaichi and you're just thinking like what, what's wrong with this company so yes when it comes to these anime games we want them to do better but when we hear comments from these guys like this it really makes you wonder do people still feel this way what like 17 years later about anime games see if you buy crap like gt transformation developers will just keep making subpar licensed games so yeah I, I want bleach rebirth the souls to do great and if afro is speaking about it in a good way hopefully it gets the people in his community to give it more of a chance versus poking fun and just saying oh well spark zero is better Bleach Rebirth the Soul seems promising and hopefully when we get our hands on this game, we definitely can show the world that there's more complexity to it than meets the eye. Even Afro Senju agrees that this game is S tier when it comes to the anime games. I'm glad, I'm glad this game is looking very, very promising. And let me know what you guys think down below. I think we actually got a very solid and fucking awesome Bleach game on the horizon. So after Dragon Ball Sparkin', we got something to look forward to. But what do you think? You think I'm missing? No, Afro, I don't think you're missing. In fact, I think you might be spitting. Now, I don't want to sound like a fanboy or a D writer, but he has a point. Ooh, hopefully that's the same thought process when the game comes out. But we'll see. Until then, I am Akai saying what, yo, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.